Fantastic Fascinastics Aerodynamic Genetics. See ya. What is up to all the Vaporians out there? Welcome back to my channel again. My name is Adrian Lo Deja Vu. Ah, so today in this videos a little bit special. I want to tell you about the Lost Vape new product, which is the Lost Vape Quest Centaurus E40 Max. Before we take a look more closer, I want to tell you this device very simple. Ah, simple, easy setting. Got a plus minus button, fire button. Rebuild 0.3 ohm and inside the packaging, they still give you another OCC cost which is 0.6 ohm. They got a fire button or either you can use draw activation, you can hang lanyard, you can adjust airflow at the back. Okay, so it depends on which type of flavor you want to use. Uh, free base, you can use the 0.3 ohm. Salt link, you all can use the 0.6 ohm. So again, uh, before I start these reviews, uh, okay, for these videos is not promote to all the miners. I am not selling as well. I'm just doing vape breathing reviews ah okay i'm just doing vape reviews only ah so without wasting our time let's just get into more closer so guys this is how the packaging looks like right here it writes lost vape quest and then got the uh, device picture right here centaurus e40 max at the side right here got right lah uh, 40 watt max output uh, max power output the maximum you can pop out until 40 watt and the e plus cartridge compatible built in 1400mAh battery, 3.35 inch backlit panel, MTL to RDL flavor, lost vape exclusive lanyard. So basically inside the packaging you will receive one of the device, ah, this color, this color is also nice. Okay, they total got six type of uh, color choices you all can choose. This one is the black color which is they name it the Regal Knight. Uh, Regal night this one is a ladder and for this one they call it the prism white for the frame they are using solid aluminium alloy frame and roman column backlit panel this one so they got the led when you vape it that time basically inside packaging you receive a usb cable and also one lost vape lanyard user manual warranty card and also this E plus cartridge usage method. Last but not least, you receive another OCC cost which is 0 0.6 ohm, 16 until 21 watt. Okay, for this one. This one's 0 0.6 ohm. Uh, you can use the salt link e juice. So the refill place hole is also very big at the side right here. Silicon, like this, pop it back. For this cartridge is 3 ml. And then let's talk about this device right now. So the chipset, very, very simple and easy. At the top right here, you can hang your lanyard. Okay, there are two holes and then fire button. Right now, currently I'm hitting on 29 watt. Okay, 29 watt. You can pump up max until 40 watt. It writes max power. It's because I'm using this 0 0.3 ohm, 30 until 40 watt. They recommend for you all. So in case if you see this 40 watt and then you put in the 0 0.6 ohm, it will detect 16 watt for you all. And then you can, still can pump up until 21 watt. Okay, exactly the same as written right here. 16 until 21 watt at the bottom right here for the 0 0.6 ohm. So today I will using the 0 0.3 ohm. Setting very easy. You no need to press three times. Because for this chipset, uh, this time lost weight, they make it very, very no headache. Lah. You just press the plus button and the fire button to lock this device. So right now, when you lock this device, you cannot press the fire button to vape and then you cannot press the plus minus to adjust the airflow so you just press like this to unlock and then if you want to reset puff the puff counter can be until 9999 okay 9999 okay so if you want to reset puff you press the minus button and the fire button for three seconds okay reset puff Right now is 0, 0, 0, 0. At the back right here, they got one dot right here. And then right here is the airflow system. You can adjust the airflow by open and close like this. Very, very solid. Okay, so this is how the inside looks like. They got a pin and also magnet. And the magnet is also very, very tight. Okay, see, got LED. Whenever if you vape it or you attach the cartridge, LED. But it's just at one side only. Oh, the airflow very tight. If you close all the airflow, it's totally for those 0 0.6 ohm MTL uh, salt link edges. So I'm using 0 0.3, full wide open airflow. Press the fire button. Uh, 
I'm using this e-juice. Loop free base e-juice like it's a soy series, okay? So it just tastes like a pure soy milk like this. Ah, so it's very smooth and then you can uh, pump up 40 watt with the 0 0.3 ohm. The cloud, very, very fantastic guys. Fantastic, fascinating, aerodynamic genetics. See ya. Uh? Basically for this Centaurus E40 Max, okay, it's a very simple device and then it's not big, count as a port mode kit lah. Uh, it's not box mode, it's port mode kit they're using this cartridge. And then the airflow for me, uh, okay, if you put fully wide open airflow, the airflow actually is quite wide. Very, very wide. It's suitable for uh, free base e juice. Right now it's 30 watt. Now let's just try pump up the max wattage, uh, 40 watt max, okay? Let's try and see. Not bad. Okay, the cloud's not bad. The flavor, not bad. The main point, the most important thing is every time we don't care, actually for me, for my own personality, I don't care about the design. I don't care about the uh, setting, a lot of things, okay? I care about the flavor, okay? The OCC coils, how they do the OCC coils. They're using this E plus cartridge, uh, the, their technology, uh, lost vape. Uh, okay? Actually, not bad, you know? The flavoring, the, the, the cotton, the absorption, actually, and also the airflow, everything, you can taste the flavor very, very good. It makes you really want to use back uh, all those box mode device, port kit. Some of the port kit, I understand. Uh, the airflow is quite tight, quite small. Okay, so port kit, a lot you cannot put in the free base e juice because the wattage cannot support maybe so high until 40 watts. Some is only 30 or 20 something watt. It's just give you MTL and then it's just give you a high ohm. Okay, example like 0 0.6 ohm ke atas lah, 0 0.8, 1 ohm. But for this one, they got a 0 0.3. So you can put in a free base. You don't need to try to use a box mode. This one can help you lah. Okay, see ya. See the clouds. You all guys see the clouds. 40 watt max, not bad. So right now, I'll attach a picture right here for you all easy see everything right here. They got six type of colors available. Uh, prism black, prism white, which is the one I'm using. The regal knight, which is the one I received. They still got the regal king, royal green, royal blue. And then the specification, net weight is 87.7 gram. Uh, battery capacity. 1400mAh battery, okay, it can last uh, two days, one or two days lah, okay. Battery voltage, 3 volt until 4.2, power is from 5 watt until 40 watt. Uh, type C cable supports 5V2A, body material is made by aluminium alloy plus PC. So the main features, Luxe leather, timeless elegance, and then solid aluminium alloy. All of this you can press pause and read by your own self. So the rating for this device, lah, based on the design is one until five star, maybe I try to give it around four star. Simple, okay, simple, they still got another type Maybe more nicer, uh, this one. Black color is also nice, okay? Black frame, aluminum alloy, okay? Black color frame. And then, uh, actually quite not bad uh, for the design, okay? Simple and nice. Heavy, not heavy for this device. Not heavy. Let's talk about the pros and cons. Uh. The cons is actually if some people, they want a lot of setting, this is the cons for you all. They don't have much setting. They just can reset path. And then another thing is uh, lock the fire button, lock all the button, like this only. And then at least you can adjust the wattage, got left, right button. Uh, this is the main point that everyone like because some of the device nowadays need to press three times. They just got one enter button only, fire button. Okay, so when the uh, wattage is blinking, you can tap, 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 tap. In case if you want uh, 30 watt, but you accidentally press 31 watt, you need to repeat again to uh, go until the max wattage, go to the lowest wattage, and then set until the wattage you want, okay? It's kind of lousy sometimes lah, only one button lah, but, okay, hope you all understand. This one at least got plus minus button, but they don't have the color screen, a lot of color you can choose, uh, like got boost mode or uh, smart mode, uh, actually don't have. If you're using the 0 0.6 ohm, you can pop up, the max is 21 watt, okay? You cannot go up any higher. If you want to use the max wattage, you use the 0 0.3 ohm. And then another pros is, there's a light panel LED right here. Very, very nice, okay? So guys, 
Hope you all understand about this Lost Vape Centaurus E40 Max uh, device. That's all for these reviews that I want to tell you. 3ML. I see you all at my next reviews again. Arika Talk. Kalam Samida. Centaurus E40. E40 Max.